Hi everyone, welcome to 90 Second Altcoin Bible. Let's crack straight in for my one to watch. It has to be Shiba Inu for mine. So many crypto charts look like they are just ready to break out, which is kind of in line with Bitcoin dominance. How it's just driving everything. As soon as that cools off, that all these altcoin patterns to begin uh, to break out. So Shiba Inu is one of those meme tokens that can absolutely ramp. Uh, fantastic as well. Just got a shout out to Bitcoin, $44,000. Uh, so fantastic there. Uh, right now, we're sort of looking at those altcoins for positioning purposes uh, for that next that next phase of the liquidity cycle where it moves from Bitcoin uh, into altcoins. So I um, wanted to show you Shiba Inu here on the daily. You can also look on the weekly. Those longer term trends are really, really important. Um, but here, she looks like she's trying to break out of a you know multi sort of year downtrend. And for the midterm, this to me looks like a, just an opportune moment to sort of capitalize on Shiba Inu. Even in the short term, um, a close and a break above this downtrend, you know, we met near you know, 16, 20%. And then if she cracks that resistance level after a bit of a move, that's you know, 59%. So mirroring similarly what, what Doge did um, only recently, I think these are the kind of charts you really want to look for where no one's sort of cotton on yet. Um, most of these charts have moved out of those downtrends already, you know, probably missed the 10% move. Um, so you want to catch it before it happens. And that's what I'm looking at something like Shiba Inu, this Doge. So very similar to what I think is going to happen with Shiba where we just get that blitz through those resistance levels uh, much, much higher. So um, yeah, for mine on Shiba Inu, uh, look for those entry points just a little bit uh you know lower around here and also into this um sort of pocket just underneath maybe freak people out if bitcoin has a, a bit of a drop into here but i don't think it's too long until we see upwards movement all right let's get on to my uh cherry ripe and it's one that we don't cover too often and that is uh theta so a lot of tokens are kind of forgotten about and whatnot i just love looking at them every now and then and, and like i said guys i want to see I want to see confirmations of trend breaks. And this is theta, multi-year downtrend, just in a horrible, horrible way. Um, but look at this break, bang, it just blitz through all these moving averages. It's completely out of that now, and it's here. So any pullback here, I think is worth consideration for an enormous move um, to the upside continuation. So up to these resistance levels as well. And, and on the weekly, I think the, the 100 is at, um, you know, around this area as well. And you know, all time high is a thousand percent away. This is the kind of setup which I really, really like um, over the longer term. So uh, again, and I'm pulling out to the daily and the weekly because I think it's really important just to cool off, have a bit of perspective about where things go because we absolutely need to expect a 10, 20%, 30% gut punch to Bitcoin on a pullback to trap some bears, grab some more liquidity before we spring higher again. Um, so just be aware that you can get those buy zones a lot lower, even though a lot of these charts look fantastic. But for mine, uh, Theta token looks really, really low, especially on the daily and even on the weekly, it just looks phenomenal for a massive move. You know, to say that 2.5 level. We'll pivot on over to uh, Ajax, which is my danger zone this week. And I've got to say, it's been so difficult to choose a danger zone um, this week, and it's not really in that much trouble in my mind. And you know the market's hot when you have trouble finding a danger zone. Um, but at AGIX, what I'm looking for is, is kind of that higher end signal here, um, which is, so it's had seven, I believe, weekly candles in a row from the breakout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weekly candles in a row that are green. We're gonna have a down week eventually, we're gonna have a red week. So the buy zones on the newsletter, um, I think are, are well within play here for people who maybe missed this move. And that's where patient investors can come in and really um, you know, take take the short-term players to task and then reap the rewards on the way up. Now that said, um, the RSI obviously is in a downtrend here, but it could break up out of here. And like in bull markets, that could just break higher. But a few things ticking in the boxes for me that you know, might be ready for a cool down. It's running into resistance here, very serious resistance. You know, wick, 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 wick. Won't take much. So break down of the 10 EMA here and then the 20, and then we'll see these areas get tagged uh, all through here. So um, that's my thinking, guys. Also, this week's newsletter is going to be an absolute beauty. I'm going to focus on five cryptos like I've just shown you with Shiba and uh, Theta, where I'm looking at that longer term picture where the gains are going to be absolutely enormous. If you position and if you're patient, I'm going to add Theta uh, into that list, including a couple of other tokens. And I'll probably just share a couple with you now. Uh, I'm going to look at Audi, something called Big Time. I'm going to look at Beam, and then there's going to be another surprise in there as well. So um, have a wonderful day. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.